Well, good morning, and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. Well, today, we're not going to play no games, and we're going to head next door to the neighbor's house and start loading up some of the stuff that he needs to split for him. And as Joe Barney says, no games played. Stick around. So I had mentioned in a couple videos ago some of the things that we had left to do around here that were coming up and taking care of the neighbor was one of them. I've got the other pile of stuff at that locust and cherry spot. I've got the, probably a trailer load to finish cutting up there. Well, this is most of the stuff that we dropped off from Brad's many months ago. I want to say probably three months ago. A lot of it's cookies, but there is still a lot of good stuff in here. And there's also a good bit of pine in the back here from a couple pine trees. And he told me just to go ahead and split everything up all at the same time. So let's get this loaded up. Well, I definitely think that this will give me something to do tomorrow. Uh, there's a good load of wood here. A bunch of it's pine. Uh, and there's a lot of oddball stuff in here, but we'll get it busted up and cleaned up for the neighbor. He also got his uh, concrete poured in his building. Really nice building. It'd be nice if I had one of these. Everybody else is getting cool stuff. Well, we're back at the house. Oh yeah, the neighbor's got uh, foundation walls done. A little bit of backfilling done here too. Um, and a massive crawl space. If this were me, I would have put the three or four more courses of block on here and had a massive basement instead of this uh, water pit. But yeah, it's uh, gonna be cool to see the neighbors here soon. I don't know about you, but this excites me. This gives me something to do tomorrow that uh, I could be productive with amongst all the other things that I have going on.
we're back again the next day. Oh, it's about 8.30 in the morning. This is what we got done yesterday. And uh, just walking out here looking at this, this is actually a pretty good load of wood despite there being pine in here. You know, if you let this stuff season, pine is fine. Uh, especially for what my neighbor's gonna be using it for. But, uh, good morning, Miss Veda. Hi, baby. Uh, we got a little bit of intermittent showers coming through, so I'm probably not going to run the camera much. I'm going to blast this stuff out, and I will uh, bring you back when I get the saw out, because there's a few pieces that are longer than the stroke of my Easton made, and we're going to have to bust them in half. And I don't think that that stove, I don't think my stove can handle that a piece that big anyway, because my neighbor's going to end up with my stove that's in the basement when we get the boiler installed. Well, we got the saw out, and in typical Jack fashion, I forgot to press record on the saw, or when I was recording this, so I went ahead and cut up uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces that were too long. I've got these huge pieces here, this one and this one, that I'm going to uh, try and just, I don't know about quartering, but at least get it into some manageable sizes. <laughs> Guess it would help if I had gas. So I talk about this often. Uh, you do not want to run your chainsaw out of fuel. Number one, it sucks all the dirt and mess that could be in your fuel tank right into the injector ports in my uh, instance, because the 500i is uh, direct fuel injected. But it also sucks all that dirt into your carburetor, which could lead to problems with your motor. And then you got to get your carburetor cleaned, or if you know how to do it, you got to clean your carb. Um, but this is actually the first time I've ran this saw out of gas, and I'm surprised that when I put the clutch cover on, I didn't put bar oil or gas in this saw. And I'll tell you why I didn't, because I had such a pain in the butt time putting that clutch cover on, because I didn't follow instructions properly, and it was also 107 degrees out with the heat index. I was tired, so I just got it done, put things away, and I went inside. And I grabbed the saw and started eating away on this log here, this round, and I didn't even check it. So make sure you check your saws for fuel and bar oil and pay attention, don't be like me. I do think that West Coast saw clutch cover does definitely manage chips a lot better than the original saw. This thing was uh, eating pretty well. Not like I just did that piece. If you go from this way down, it'll actually spit out a lot better uh, noodles and it won't blow dust. Hey, hey. 
Well, I definitely think that I can uh, manage that piece now. That was a pretty big cookie that we got from uh, Brad's. And uh, I'd have to say that other than where the chain catcher grabs all the extra noodles, the uh, when it doesn't jam up in the chain catch, this uh, clutch cover actually does manage the chips a lot better. Uh, there is a lot more space in there. Well, we had a pile of wood here, a pile of rounds, that is now overloading the trailer. And Joe Barney, there's definitely no games played here, buddy. This is a nice load of everything. There's maple, there's pine, there's ash, there's oak. There is a little bit of locust. Uh, there's mulberry. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in this. And, and there's gum, there's sweet gum in, in here too. Uh, but my neighbor is going to end up with my furnace from the basement. And that stove will burn all of this stuff. He's going to end up putting it in his new pole building. So uh, we'll go over there. We'll figure out where he wants to dump this. We'll get it dumped. I have to go to work in a few hours. I need to take a nap. So I'm probably not going to take another load home today. I'll probably save that for another day. But let's go get this dumped. All right, well, there's a good bit of wood here. Yeah. This is all my uh, neighbor's stuff. There's mulberry, there's gum, there's ash, there's oak. There is a little bit of locust, there's pine, all kinds of good stuff here. And it's definitely over a cord. But uh, I thank everybody for watching. And that's all I got for you guys this week. Uh, I'll catch you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other. See ya.